Hi traders, this is the Dow on the monthly chart. So as we're just heading into the new month, just wanted to take a look at this. This is a reversal signal because this is a all-time new high and that is a close underneath it. So I'm going to pull back to that area there, 15,000. I would look for this at least to possibly come down to about 14, 14 and a half thousand. So if we get uh, we get that pullback, then I would look to short that because if you look at the weekly. That's uh, another lower close. So we have four weeks of selling, hence the monthly bar. And look at the daily. Yeah, we are just clinging on, just. However, on the daily is telling a slightly different picture from the point of view that if we put fibs on this last big move actually that's the wrong fib site we're just clinging so the for the balls we're just clinging on to this twenty three point six percent fibs so close above here on Monday and then I expect a pullback to this area at this 50% but drop out of here and then I would look for this to come down to uh, 127 and possibly higher okay so we've got major support of 14 and a half hence the reason why I quoted 14 and a half but uh, so all eyes are I know it's Labor Day Monday so US and Canada are off on holiday so Tuesday's close is going to be critical so hold this area here and we are going north break 14,760 and we are going south we could actually short 760 with a stop above 920 however uh, let's look at the pound US dollar if you look at the big picture on this one let's put the fibs on this one this is the fibs on the 2012 move so far this year and so from that reversal bar on literally the 2nd of January dropped right the way down to 14.828 and at the moment you know, we've, we're holding this area here, so we're holding the bottom of this 61.8% with a, something of a hammer like bar there so we've gapped up. This little bar here is the Sunday open. We've gapped up to 155.40 and currently just pulling back. We close above this 155 on Monday. Uh, I think we're heading up to 157 and above. In fact, I would be looking for 160 if we start closing higher than 155.50 close lower and I will get bearish so I'm, I'm literally marking the Friday's range and looking for where that closes on the pound yen pound US dollar sorry pound yen uh, is broke down from this resistance area so there's a triple top here uh, broke down from this trend line as well uh, a couple of decent buying days on Wednesday and Thursday stalled on Friday, gapped up today on Sunday is open. Um, if we get back up here, I don't think that will hold. I think 154 will give and we'll start climbing up to 156. But uh, fibs on that one. This is the last big move. So you can see we came down and held the 50%. We are just nudging 76.4 percent so I would definitely I would I would look to buy I'm, I'm more interested in the pound US than this one uh, just 
like the way the moving averages gather together underneath the pound US. Euro I'm not touching, I just think this is uh, I think this is tougher to trade, really tiny narrow range. That's what we're doing at the moment on this one. If we break down under here, we start breaking the Friday's low, and I think this is this euro could be in trouble. But moving this apex and start breaking above 134, then we are looking to go to 140. Okay, so Monday's close is going to be critical. Uh, not much else to look at. There's the Aussie US. Not interested. Uh, I, actually, I do like if we start to hold here and can break that. I'll get interested. I'll get very interested. In fact, I would I would buy if we hold 90 on Friday. Oh, oh what am I talking about? Monday. We start closing up 90, and I would buy that. With a stop under there at uh, 88, 88. Um, data, we've got non farm payroll on Friday. We've got a lot of UK data this week, which is all uh, meant to be in the positive zone. So I would definitely look for any pullbacks in the pound US and look for this one, this Aussie US dollar, to close above 90. And uh, anything else of note? Let's have a look. Aussie CAD. Uh, it doesn't quite know where to go at the moment, so I would leave that trapped in a range. The. Uh, what else have we got? US dollar CAD is looking very toppy up there. Huge area of resistance up there, so I'm just leaving that one at the moment. So that's shortable because if we can't close above that area there, I think that is shortable. First low, first major test of the low. So we come out of the bottom of that apex, and I would short that one. But it is. Pretty, it's a pretty nice bullish move up here. If we start closing above 105.70, I'll buy a pullback. Because if this resistance becomes support, I would want to be in that one. We a daily has held the eight very, very well. Let's look at oil and oil is interesting. Let's have a look at the fibs. Uh, this is the last big move on the oil. So you can see this 76.4% holding down here. It struggled with 38.2 and finally broke up. Uh, toyed with 102.70, broke up. And uh, here we have major support at 106. I'll pan back in a minute. But if that holds there, if this if this area holds, I would look to buy. I think we are looking at a bull flag. We're underneath. We're just sitting underneath the trend line there. So snap back above 107.60. Oh, I will buy. Uh, in the meantime, we are suffering underneath this. Uh, reversal bar. And what else can I offer you? Look at the weekly on that. Weekly holding the eight. Uh, so you can see the major resi resistance levels we tackled up here. 
I think that is a full flag. So I didn't do that. Uh, that holds. I would keep buying. I would buy the weekly pivot low. I talk about that on Monday. Bear in mind, US is not around tomorrow anyway. And look to see if we can break up. Because if we break up, this is a monthly chart. Topping tail. Uh, but yeah, we start consolidating, and I expect that to. We're holding that monthly trend line. And so if we break one to one twenty, we are heading much higher. But if we just come back and test one oh five I would be a buyer of that. See if we can push up. Let's get Monday out of the way. See where we are on Tuesday when the US comes back uh, and then see if that can break up. But this yes, is a reversal bar, it's under fibs. So if we get to see 106.35, I will look to see if that was hold and then buy. But in the meantime, I would uh, swing traders just stand aside. But this price here, yeah, one hundred five twenty will be a luxury if we see that. All right. So I'm interested in the pound US. I'm interested in oil, and I want to see if this Dow can hold this fib level and start to climb up to. 15,100. At this point, I will be a seller up here. We start knocking on the door at 50%, I would be a seller unless we close above 50%. So I'm not touching this at the moment. I would be happy for this to run up to 15,000 and it's only 180 points above us anyway. And then look to see if I get a short signal. There's certainly no reversal signal here. I mean, for the bulls, there is divergent RSI. That is a key support level, but you know it's it's weak. We could just roll up here and just roll over. For the Elliott wave enthusiasts, that's one, two, three waves up. That's an A, B, C wave. Correction, and so if we hold here, start closing up, we could get a big D way breakup. Okay, so I'll, I'm looking for clearer signals once we get at the very least the Labor Day out of the way, and then we can reassess. Okay, hope that helps. Um, I will be revealing all these changes I've been talking about tomorrow. I'm not trading tomorrow, so I will finally. Dot the T's and cross the I's, get the cross to you, and then we can um, start delving and looking forward into September for some good trading. All right, lots of, lots of volatility ahead of us, uh, so be careful and see you at the uh, Traders Conference call on Monday. Thanks, bye.